Because this basically takes the average person and makes them a farmer. In other words, anybody can raise a hog and now the fear of butchering that hog or hauling that hog off to the abattoir or the butcher shop or the uh, slaughterhouse, that's gone. That's all taken care of right here. Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day here off the Stony Ridge Farm, and we are with a mobile meat processor here in North Carolina. Let me shake your hand, brother. Thank you. Tell them your name, tell them what you do. So my name is Tim Parks. I am the owner of Homestead Custom Meat Processing. We are the first and currently only mobile meat processor in North Carolina nice. that is operating legally. What this does, guys, is opens up doors for folks that are homesteading that don't have a trailer to haul a pig, that don't want to process their chicken, that don't want to do process their own goat, that don't want to do all this, I guess, butchering, that don't have the skill set to do that. You provide that skill set for a pretty nominal fee. So tell them what you do and and how you do it so you travel you got your truck and your butchering trailer is this the sure. only trailer that you have currently yes okay so. you do poultry goats yes you sir do goats yep. you do pigs pigs uh, and sheep and sheep okay so any and all of the above yep can, can we've I, had a lot of requests for quail but unfortunately quail is actually regulated by the um quail and rabbits by the fda tell them about what you charge and guys it's 2023 right now prices are going to go up and down with fuel prices with equipment prices so right now here in May, is it May of 2023? It's May 1st, yeah. Yep, May 1st, 2023. What do you charge uh, to come out and, and butcher an animal? Let's just say uh, my friend here has three pigs. Yep. So tell me one pig, what's the, what's the fee? All right, so with every pig, there's a $60 kill fee. Um, that kill fee covers my insurance and liability uh, for handling the firearm and dispatching the animal, and it also covers the waste. Okay. Um, I do have customers asking how they can save money, and a lot of people like to compost. Yep. Uh, the, the offal, the guts, and the skin and head, yep. um, which is it's wonderful. The more you can use of that animal, yeah. the better you are. Currently, it's $1.10 per pound, okay. um, which is right in line with all the current uh, brick and mortar slaughter facilities. Gotcha. Um, and the hanging weight is skin gutted, head and feet off. Okay. So it is pretty much 100% returnable meat. Now there is, you'll get gristle and uh, like you'll see in some of the video, lymph nodes and stuff like that. Yeah. You, you gotta throw some of it away. Yeah. Um, but other than that, you know, you can get almost 100% of that weight back. We're here to teach you guys that there's a place you can get your animals butchered and it's right in your own backyard with these guys here. Thank you so much, Homestead Custom Meat Processing. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, buddy. Come on in, Josh. We'll take you on a tour of the trailer. This is a 30 foot uh, long custom trailer. This is our little walk-in cooler to keep things cool. Everything's on wheels, everything's moving. We've got to, it's kind of like a, uh, a fire drill, getting everything set up. We yep. have, like when we first get here, our vacuum sealer and our meat saw will be down, will be up here, because what we've got to do is, when we bring the pigs in, skin them, gut them, get them hanging in the cooler, after that we've got to totally clean the back end down, make sure everything is, sorry, that was my bug zapper. <laughs> um, make sure everything is clean, and then after that we can set up for our normal processing and then we have our meat saw pro cut meat saw um, nice. yeah so this makes things a lot easier it is a bear to clean um but it's one of those necessities yep so, so what a lot of people may or may not know is at the end of the day at the butcher shop uh, what the last two hours of the day is just cleaning equipment isn't yeah. it it's so, yeah you're guaranteed an hour at least yeah and the more equipment you use, of course, the more you gotta clean. Yep. Well, I'm gonna let you get busy, man. You got a little bit of work to do. This is called leaf fat. This is what you make the lard with, guys. This is the prize lard for people making pastries and baked goods and stuff. Yeah. They say this is, that for whatever reason, it makes better lard, makes crust fluffier and stuff like that than you know your typical fat. 
So tell me about food and about the quality of meat from a commercial hog versus raising your own hog. Well, people don't understand or comprehend how important things like sunshine and fresh air and fresh grass are in growing out animals. Um, and until you go and purchase meat that was grown on a homestead or what's considered pasture raised, you won't understand. But you know, if, if you haven't, I encourage anybody to go to your local farmer's market, um, do research. A lot of homesteads have their own little farm store. Um, you are going to pay a little bit more for it, but trust me, a lot of work went into that pig, um, a lot of time, or that animal. And you will quickly learn that the quality is beyond measure. It really is. Uh, that's what I've learned in raising my own chickens and my own beef and our own pork. And we do it kind of the old timey way, uh, the old Appalachian way where we cure the hams and all that stuff. Uh, you can't do that in a day like you're doing right here, but uh, it really makes a huge difference. And like you said, sunshine, the vitamin and nutrient content of an animal that's raised out in the, in the sunshine, a pig that's rooting in mud instead of rooting in manure, yep. or a pig that just never had the opportunity to root. I mean, there's a difference in the musculature of that animal too. You know, it's like uh, Joel Salatin, he likes to use the phrase, he wants his pigs to be pigs. Yep, the pigness of the um, pig. And when you raise it on your farm and that pig is allowed to go out and eat bugs and worms and grubs and all that good stuff, there's a bunch of lymph nodes and yep. stuff up in yep. there. So I go by the rule, if I would be okay with a butcher throwing it away for me, I'm gonna throw it away. Yep. You see that little node he's cutting out right there? Yep. It's a little lymph node, you wanna get rid of that. That will, it'll that will sour, booger up a taste. You have a sour batch of sausage. It's just so much better on an animal. Um, when they can live like they should instead of in a big commercial operation. Well, guys, as he's working here, you see him pecking away at a few things. So there's no dirt, there's no grit, there's no hair, and there's constant sharpening of the knife. Uh, you gotta he, you gotta keep a very very sharp knife. The butcher's worst enemy is a dull knife, isn't it? You'll get cut quicker with a dull knife than you ever would a sharp knife. Oh, absolutely. And my fingers are a testament to that. Yeah. <laughs> so, what kind of knife uh, do you use there? These are actually a Victorinox. Okay. Yep. Been very happy with them. Uh, they hold an edge really well. Um, and until you get to doing a lot of cutting, you don't understand how important this uh, honing steel is. Yeah. You know, just doing that on a regular basis will, um, man, it'll keep you going for a long time. Now we got a big daddy here. What am I looking at here? This is the Boston butt. That is the- oh, This is pulled pork surprise. Yes, right sir. Yeah, that is the prime smoking meat. At the end of this video, there'll be a link to an awesome pulled pork recipe that we did on our Traeger grill the other day. Awesome. That's a big boy. That's about a 12 pounder right there, something like that. 10, 12 pounder. Um, Maybe yeah, a little it'll, less. No, it'll actually probably be a little bit more. It'll, it'll be 12 to 14 pounds probably. Right. So, and I just try to trim some of this fat off of there for the customer. Yep. Leave some. But you don't want to leave a big glob. This was actually a relatively lean pig. Nice.
So guys, this basically takes the average person and makes them a farmer. In other words, anybody can raise a hog and now the fear of butchering that hog or hauling that hog off to the abattoir or the butcher shop or the uh, slaughterhouse, that's gone. That's all taken care of right here. Thank you so much, Homestead Custom Meat Processing. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. We're gonna you. go inside. We're gonna watch a little bit of sausage grinding and a little bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll post all your particulars down there in the video description in case you guys are from North Carolina. Say, so get ready for your phone to ring, baby. Bring it's it on. It's gonna be awesome. All right. All right. Come on down.